I averaged two trophies per year. So for someone like myself to actually do that, it was an honor because the cop and the Anfield atmosphere that they kind of instilled was really kind of a special place to play your football. My last game for Northampton was actually playing at Rotherham. Jeff Twentyman has, has brought the financial director of Liverpool to see this certain film they will play at right back for 90 minutes and they're going to spend 60 grand on it. Um, but within 10 minutes of the game starting, the keeper gets carried off. Guess who goes in goal? Phil Neal does. We were 2-1 up at the time and we win the game 3-1. So I never let a goal in really. So there I am in goal officially for Northampton Town on my last game at Rotherham. Two days after playing in goal, I was up in Liverpool signing for £10 a week more than I was on at Northampton. And then uh, we all settled into what has been our, our marital home and I never regret ever signing for Liverpool and that day made me and thank goodness I, I shaved the muzzy off. <laughs> obviously over at Goodison, the big derby, but the reserves were playing at Anfield, which my name went up for. And uh, it was only uh, Saturday morning when Tom Saunders knocked on the door of my digs. Uh, he said, there's a problem with one of the fullbacks. Could you go and pick your boots up and go across to Goodison to join them? We got my boots with a brown paper bag under our arm through Stanley Park. And um, it was the best thing of my life, really. It was the thing that made me because as soon as I, I walked into the dressing room, Bob Pays, and he said, get ready to play some. And I thought, well, you've waited for this. You're 23 years of age. Cope with it, and you can cope with anything that football's going to throw at you. And that's the thing I took from that occasion, my debut, be it in a very important game against the, the arch rivals. There I was, you know, played all my football in the lower leagues, and I came to Liverpool. And I think having 18 months or, or two years then, to actually get to grips with what the first division was like and how consistent you had to be or else somebody else has that red shirt from your back. It was a long time coming that the equaliser and the winner, in fact, but um, we eclipsed Wolves that day and he won his first championship and so did I and uh, it was a fantastic kind of uh, feeling after the Shankly, famous Shankly, building the club and everything else, taking us to Europe, here he were. A memorable season, his second season, because there was a double uh, and he was going to average well over one a year um, mm. while he was there, so uh, well done to Bob. I had an awful leg at, at Anfield uh, against Bruges and uh, Jimmy Case it was who, who it got me out the mire really because I passed back over my shoulder and the fella nipped in uh, and scored a, a valuable goal for Bruges and uh, we were under pressure then but Jimmy pulled me out second half we went we took a narrow advantage to the second leg in Bruges uh, and I believe Kevin uh, got a free kick uh, he scored from a free kick over there So we went on to win this uh, UEFA Cup, and uh, uh, that was a, a, an awkward uh, trophy to lift, but it was uh, very welcome when uh, you'd been against Bruges. And uh, Jimmy Case it was who, who, who got me out the mire, really, because I passed back over my shoulder, and the fella nipped in uh, and scored a, a valuable goal for Bruges. And uh, we were under pressure then, but Jimmy pulled me out second half. We went, we took a narrow advantage to the second leg in Bruges, uh, and I believe Kevin uh, got a free kick. Uh, he scored from a free kick over there, so we went on to win this uh, UEFA Cup, and uh, uh, that was a, a, an awkward uh, trophy to lift, 
but it was uh, very welcome when you, you'd been at Northampton for seven years and won absolutely. They were all there, you know, Ray Clements, they were all kind of within this squad that Don Revy had put together and, you know, it, it was a great occasion and uh, I was able to get my mum up, who was very proud of her son from Northampton, uh, eventually becoming an England international. At Liverpool, when I put pen to paper here, I wouldn't have thought that I got the capabilities, but uh, obviously being with the top club that was leading England into Europe most years, I got recognised as a steady Eddie at right back, uh, and uh, I became an international like many others. After David had obviously got that vital goal at the end, everybody, in the, even if you had a seat, you were just standing because it was like a tumultual quest to actually survive those last minutes. I've seen the tape since and we hung on desperately, clearing off lines, Ray Clements being used very often in those last ten minutes or so. When we went out to actually inspect the pitch, I remember going out with Stevie Highway and said, look, hey, look at that. As soon as we came up from the tunnel, uh, there was a mass of red and white again, and uh, we said we've got to win it for them, and uh, we, we certainly did. Isaac McDermott, and that's a goal! What a delighted scorer! It's Tommy Smith! And what about his yet? I've got to say, I did change my mind, something a penalty taker should never do on an occasion like that, but um, it was with Wolfgang Nieb, he was six foot four, I'm thinking, oh, my favourite size, so the keeper's left. And on the run-up, I'm thinking, oh no, he must have seen the one in Zurich, because I've scored in Zurich, so I, I've actually kind of changed my mind, but uh, it went in, and the jubilation of... Uh, when you get home, you see the film and everybody jumps off the bench to, to say, that's what we've done, we've won the European Cup for the very first time, and that was very special. From the St Etienne night, to get through then and to lift it was the making of, of Liverpool Football Club in Europe. Once you get your hands on the European Cup, you really don't want to play in any other competition. It really affects you that much. I scored 38 penalties uh, over a period of seven years, so uh, I didn't miss many. I was always aware of the standing foot, you know, was it solid enough alongside the ball before I struck the ball. I did remain composed. It looked as if I was a cool customer. I still look, I'm going to strike the ball well, and as uh, long as I strike the ball well, the keeper should never get to it. In 81, they were calling me Zico, you know, and, and they made me go forward and, and they could see I was eager to have a shot in there. Yeah, I didn't always hit the target, but if you just knocked it just over the bar, you know, the reaction they had to call me Zico after the famous Brazilian was brilliant and I've never ever forgot it. And I think that was another sequence in my time here that drove me on and kept me going longer than probably the staff anticipated. You could tell the joy in his eyes, but you could tell also you'd upset him and you would, he was certainly not one to be messed with. He could keep my feet all on the floor in 84, fantastic season, 68 games, you know, three trophies, magnificent. Our respect, it's our respect of Joe Fagan. You know, after Bob Paisley, you get over it. He's a man, we respect him just as much. And uh, this is what we're gonna do for Joe. And, and that was, for everyone to see, three trophies. That was how much we regarded Joe as to how, how what a good figurehead he was for this club. Liverpool have now won the title seven times in nine years and they've got the European Cup final still to come.
Good evening to you from the Olympic Stadium in Rome, a spectacular arena for what promises to be an epic battle. We went ahead in the game uh, through a goal for our fullback, I can't remember his name, and it just gave us the niche to actually go the whole hog and obviously we know what happens and extra time penalties didn't matter, 68th game, we wanted it and uh, we knew that if we got to penalties uh, we would be the victors. You've got to pinch me even now to what we achieved. That strength I didn't think I had when I was at Northampton. As soon as I came to Liverpool, it was the Liverpudlians who got it out of me, and I was willing to take on the world with them. I am very humble to say thanks, Liverpool FC, for giving me everything in the world that I could possibly achieve.